Hi guys, it's Imran from Gaming Till Disconnected and this is a review of the Mad Cat Strike 3 gaming keyboard. Priced at £90 for the UK and $100 for the US, the Strike 3 is an entry level gaming keyboard for the PC and the newest member to join the Mad Cat Strike range. Offering a unique membrane keybed designed to offer the full tactical feedback of mechanical keys but without the excessive noise, or the need to bottom out keys. It's available in gloss black, gloss red and gloss white, with a removable palm rest. The design is almost identical to its older siblings in the Strike range, however the Strike 3 doesn't have the control module seen in the Strike 5 or the Strike 7, or the extra function strips on the left hand side of the keyboard. Unlike the other Strike keyboards, the Strike 3 features a handle which is useful in theory, but I couldn't fit my fingers through the hole or get a comfortable grip, so I just ended up pinching it. The handle also feels like the weakest point in otherwise a sturdy keyboard, but to be honest, unless you're constantly moving from one location to another, you'll hardly ever touch it. If you do plan to be moving regularly with your gaming keyboard, be thankful the Strike 3 has a braided USB cable. This will protect the cable from breaking so easily and tangling up. Aesthetically, the Strike 3 is pleasing. The height is adjustable and thanks to the rubber feet, the keyboard stays firmly placed on any surface. Although one of my complaints about the Strike 3's design would be the gloss finish, but this won't hinder the performance of the keyboard in any way. It's more of a personal thing, but if you're easily annoyed by fingerprints and spend countless nights awake worrying about the appearance of your keyboard, you'll be forever cleaning this keyboard to remove fingerprints. A few of the main features of the Strike 3 include 12 macro keys with 3 different modes, meaning you can have a total of 36 programmable commands, a Windows lock key, media controls and a full RGB backlit keybed, meaning you can have a total of up to 16 million different colours. The Strike 3 feels well built, the keys feel nice to press and they don't feel spongy, and each key press is responsive. This is thanks to the unique key membrane, custom crafted to provide precise feedback and 5 times the durability of traditional keyboards. This feature also allows the Strike 3 to have anti-ghosting capabilities of up to 7 concurrent key presses. After some testing I noticed that depending on which combination of keys I pressed, the anti-ghosting was inconsistent. That's not to say the anti-ghosting feature doesn't work. The Strike 3 has no issues with up to 6 simultaneous key presses, which isn't bad at all. The anti-ghosting is most effective around the WASD region, which is understandable considering that's where most gamers bind their keys to game actions. A nice little feature I liked about the Mad Cat Strike 3 which may go unnoticed is the spacebar and its shape. It has a lip which is cut off about a third of the way from the left. This may seem trivial but this stops accidental key presses and I could rest my thumb where the lip was cut off. And due to the lip I didn't have to reach as high to get to the spacebar. I know that sounds extremely lazy but 5 hours of Black Ops 2 can really take it out of you. The Strike 3 isn't a mechanical keyboard which means that you don't have to worry about being too audible and unless you're clubbing away at it with hammers, you can expect it to be moderately muted. I'm not saying it's completely silent, but you're not going to be waking anyone up if you're using the Strike 3 in the early hours of the morning. Speaking of playing into the early hours of the morning, you'll be grateful the Strike 3 has a full RGB backlit keybed, and the seemingly infinite colour options. Changing the colour of the keybed is easily done with the Mad Cat Strike 3 software, with the option of a pop-up colour picker, or the option to independently change the red, green and blue with sliders. The backlighting is consistent and from what I can tell there doesn't seem to be any weaknesses in light. The colour of the keybed lighting also indicates which of the three modes you're in, and cycling between the three modes is easy as pressing a button. Unfortunately the backlight for the mode button and the seven macro keys located next to the mode buttons don't change to match the rest of the keyboard. The only time the mode button will match the keybed is if you choose not to change the default backlighting colours, which are red, blue and pink but this can be easily ignored, or it may eat away at you from the inside. It just falls down to personal preference. The Strike 3 also features a toggle to lock the Windows key. This is incredibly helpful to stop those accidental presses of the Windows key, and if this has ever happened to you then I'm sure you can understand how unbelievably frustrating it can be. I just wish the toggle itself wasn't so stiff. It's so stiff that when toggling it can move the entire keyboard, which is kind of annoying, unless of course you hold the keyboard down, or hold the back of the keyboard while toggling the switch. But other than that, it's a great feature. Out of the 12 macro keys featured on the Strike 3, 7 of them are located above the escape key and the first 4 function keys. These work well and as you'd expect them to, but they're a bit small and out the way, and for that reason I don't really find myself using them too much. Don't get me wrong, I used them, but I didn't assign anything essential or frequently used functions to these keys. I much prefer the C macro keys located above the arrow keys. It did take a bit of time to get used to them, due to their positioning, but they're slightly lowered so it won't take long for you to get used to them. The 5 C macro keys have the same responsiveness as the rest of the keyboard. The software Mad Cats provide is what makes the Strike 3 really shine, and that's not just because of the gloss finish. In order for the macro keys to work with custom functions, you'll need to download the Mad Cats Strike 3 software. This can be easily done from the Mad Cats website. The software is really easy to use and it's simple to customise the keyboard. Binding custom functions is a simple drag and drop task. 
If you've used or use MadCats peripherals, you'll feel right at home with the software. MadCats provide you with some pre-programmed functions for the Windows PC. You can also record your own custom command functions. And thanks to the software, this is once again really simple. Just press the keys or the combination of keys you want, give the command a name and hit save. With the option of 36 programmable commands per profile, you can really go crazy with this. The MadCat software also allows you to make your own custom made profiles, so you can essentially have a different profile for each game and program. However, that's not the best part. The best part about the software is the ability to bind games and different executable files to each profile. This is pretty easy to set up. You'll need to find the .exe file using Explorer. The ease of this process is down to your own file organization skills. This is extremely useful if you have a profile for each game and program and you don't want to keep changing the profiles manually. This is an excellent feature and works really well. You can still change profiles manually. All you need to do is go down to the system tray and right click on the strike 3 icon and select the profile you want from the list of profiles you've made. As good as the Mazcat Strike 3 software is, it has its fair share of issues. First of which is when you start recording a macro, you can't take a step back. It would be extremely handy if you could edit macros after, you, after creating them. This would be extremely helpful when creating long and complex macros, or you want to add something a little extra to your macros. This means that when you make a mistake when recording a long macro, you'll have to clear what you've recorded so far and start again. Overall, the Madcat Strike 3 is a good-looking keyboard, but you don't get all the bells and whistles that you might do with the other Strike keyboards. But I guess that's to be expected considering it's £100 cheaper than the Strike 5 and £160 cheaper than the Strike 7. You have to remember this is an entry-level keyboard, and it's a great starting point for anyone who can live without the fancy extras. If you're operating with a limited budget and you want a premium-looking keyboard, more customizable macro options than you'll know what to do with, and a keyboard that produces more colours than you'll recognise, then this might be the right keyboard for you. You can also check out the full written review of the Madcat Strike 3 gaming keyboard at gamingtildisconnected.com. The link's also in the description. If you like this review, then please make sure you click the like button and be sure to subscribe to us for more tech reviews.